Hey tribe, welcome back for another video. Sorry it's been so long since I have filmed. Um, we have a new baby in the house. Isaac is three weeks old and uh, baby's super healthy. I'm super healthy. But you know what? I wanted to talk about, get your guys' opinions um, here in the carnivore keto community. I recently read a post online um, about a mother lamenting about, you know, since going carnivore, um, she was really struggling with now that it's holiday time, doing all of the fun holiday activities with her kids, specifically Christmas cookies, you know, like decorating the um, the gingerbread house, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. And of course, I will do my, you know, give my two cents um, on it too. But, you know, some people tend to be really, really far over in their dedication and their thinking about uh, food and carnivore and keto and then other people are a little more loose and then some people fall in the middle and so let's talk about that let's talk about um, are you struggling as um, a parent that wants to celebrate the holidays in the way you grew up you know making cookies with grandma or with your mom um, and doing all the things let's talk about it First things first, let's be really kind in the comments and not be mean, rude, judgmental. Everyone is different. Everyone's health journey is different. Everyone's family life is different. And so let's be really charitable um, to each other in the comments. If you agree with maybe being more lenient during the holidays, that's great. If you don't, that is great too. Just let's be really kind and charitable in the comments because this could be very triggering for some people. And then some people just naturally love to be nasty and mean in the comments, but this is not the place for it. So here we go. What is my thoughts on this? For one, I can completely understand um, how this mother was feeling. She loves doing holiday baking with her children. Um, it's, you know, the, the big feelings of, you know, Christmas time and the new year. And so, but now that she is on this carnivore, ketovore diet and she's experiencing amazing results, um, feeling wonderful. She doesn't want to introduce these temptations back into her house, but she also doesn't want to deprive her children at the same time who is not living this way. And so I was thinking about this and I was like, okay, you know what? My husband has been carnivore for two and a half years. I was carnivore for almost two years before I got pregnant. Now I am keto um, and I am since my baby's only three weeks old, I am slowly working my way back to carnivore um, just because I felt the best on carnivore, but I'm also nursing. And so um, I don't want to dip my carbs too low, too fast um, for that reason. But let's get back to the other thing. That first holiday, that so last Christmas, I didn't want to um, do the holiday baking and things like that with my kids. My kids did miss it. We did do, we did do one specific Christmas cookie. We did my cream cheese sugar cookies. I have a video on that and how I was making them keto friendly. Um, and so I can link that below. But that was the only Christmas cookie we did. Um, I didn't want to bring in all sorts of other temptations. My husband and I need to be abstainers. We really struggle to be moderators. And so first and foremost, I'm not here to tell you to not um, do the wonderful Christmas traditions, whether that's Christmas cookies or whatever, with your family. I think you know yourself best if you need to abstain maybe for a couple of years or maybe outsource those Christmas cookies to a family friend or a grandparent or other relative to maybe have them do it at another person's house. Um, maybe without you or maybe you're there but you're doing everything at another person's house and you'll maybe your kids will have a couple of those cookies at their house and not bring them home. Again, there are ways I feel that you can kind of soften the blow for this. And so 
what we are doing in our household is we are doing holiday baking not a crazy amount but i am very very picky about the ingredients in which i am using so um, I've said it in other videos. I use a very specific flour that I order from Amazon. It comes from Italy. It is non-GMO. It is not sprayed with any pesticides, insecticides, um, and it's organic and it does not eat me up inside. A lot of people who have gluten allergies or like wheat, they struggle to process, you know, wheat and stuff. They don't have a problem with this flour and I can link that below. So, Again, you need to know where you are on this journey. Are you going to totally fall off the bandwagon if you introduce any sweets right now? Or have you kind of been in the game a long time and you know you can kind of deviate a little bit because you have no problem getting right back on? And so could you go more keto um, here this holiday season? Could you still do some baking, but modify those ingredients. Um, I like to use this particular flour um, because I don't like the taste or the texture that like almond flour and like those keto flours do. Um, and I digest this flour just fine, but I do it in moderation because as we all know, when you reintroduce sugar, it makes you crave sugar again. And so um, you have to know yourself if you can bring some things back in or if you need to abstain, but really think about how do you want your kids to, you know, remember the holidays? Are you teaching them about proper nutrition and health along the way with that holiday eating and baking? That's really important um, in my family. We talk about all the time, like, there's these ingredients, but then there's way and better. There's way better ingredients. And so we like to swap out, you know, the typical flour that you would buy at the grocery store um, for a better quality flour. But we're going to do this in moderation and not all the time. Um, and just can we go organic? Can we make cleaner ingredients? Can we omit ingredients? That's been a big one in... Um, my baking at home here is if I do make a loaf of bread for my kids, I um, I will modify sometimes the ingredients to be like, oh, this banana bread, for example, um, it requires sugar. I don't put sugar in banana bread that I make for my kids um, from time to time. It's just the bananas. That's it. That's the only sugar that's in it. Or I, and not or, and I add like a ton of equip um, collagen protein powder in pretty much all of my baking, just all of it. And so there's a very, very high protein content in my, um, my baked goods when I do it, um, whether it's cookies or breads or whatever, um, to, to try to um, just make it more healthy and counteract some, not counteract, but, you know, just be higher in protein, even though there is a higher carb content. So I want to hear, let's comment below, be polite. Can you go keto during the holidays and hop right back on to the carnivore or ketovore bandwagon. Can you do that? Not everyone can. Um, do you say, absolutely not, like I am done with all holiday baking and just anything, carbs and sugar, no matter what the event may be, because I'm healing, right? Some people just really can't handle it. You're on a long haul healing journey. Um, and so, yeah, you're not going to, you know, dip out of that. And I completely respect it. I want to know because there are a lot of women that feel very, very guilty. Um, I have realized about not um, letting their kids indulge or just like no longer having or feeling that they no longer have these beautiful family traditions around the holiday times that, um, that circle around food. So yeah, let's you know, let's be encouraging. Let's offer some thoughts and opinions in the comments. And I wish you guys a beautiful 
um, holiday season and blessings on your health and healing journey. And yes, we will talk soon. Bye-bye.